Hello YouTube, welcome back to Jay Shine here. Today we're gonna to be doing a storybook animation. It's gonna be about a scary little sister. I mean, I don't know how old is the um, I don't know sister or brother, but if she's little or if if she's little, uh, you can um deal it with yourself. But if she's bigger, you need help. So what we're gonna do this with Juan you? Pablo, and he got the um a green white airhead. Yeah, um, the mystery. Double mystery. Uh, double mystery. Arrowhead. So and we're gonna I got be, green light. So we're going to be watching this and let's see how depressing it is. Sometimes I wonder about my little sister. Oh, it's little. one time, my mom had asked me to babysit her. So my little sister and I were sitting on the couch and we were watching a movie. My sister told me she was hungry, and you know, she was like two at the time, Aww. so she just said chopped words like, hungry, hungry, and so I went to the kitchen to make dinner, and then all of a sudden I just hear her scream, a blood curdling <gasps> scream, so I dropped Dang. everything, I run into the living room, and I'm all like, what's wrong, what's wrong, you know, ready to square up with someone trying to hurt my sister, she just looks at me with this psychotic oh, little Oh, damn! She's like, I got you. Two years what? Old, they usually just say little chop senses, but she said that so clearly. I was a little caught off guard, and you know, I had just watched some scary movie about this little kid being possessed, so I was a little. Oh, worried, like, you had to be on? kidding and me! I just went back don't in finish cooking. Don't even dare on um, um, these kids watch these some um, kind of movies because they will possess their mind. Dinner. Well, then she just <gasps> walks into the kitchen and she said, "Danny," and I turn around like, "What?" She said, "There's a man in the hallway." No. Uh, I have never been so scared in my life. I just froze. <laughs> like, it was like time slowed down. I ended up just slowly walking into the hallway with a butter knife. Oh. Because that's all I had. There's no one there. Now, I don't know why I'm believing my little sister. But I'm kind of paranoid at this point. Because, you know, I've heard stories about how little kids see ghosts and stuff <gasps> like that. I was playing with her. And all of a sudden, she stopped dead in her tracks and said, baby, on the wall. I just was like, okay. Whatever. I, it was oh. about 3 a.m. and I was studying oh, three, a yeah, come on. And I heard her crying. I went to her room. And then she said, the man in the closet. And I did not open the closet because I've watched enough scary movies to know that, like, you know, you only do that if you have a death wish. So I just kind of <laughs> grabbed my sister. I'm like, okay, how do you sleep in my room tonight? She's like, I want to stay with the man. What? She well, is what? too... These are the only time she speaks like clearly when she's saying something weird like that. Stay with the man, and my parents they think it's just normal two year old stuff. But one time last week we were watching trolls when they were Troll? you know put the trolls in like the oh. pots and stuff. She just started laughing sadistically. <gasps> I have never heard such a psychotic and malicious laugh come from a toddler. And then so spoiler alert: when the trolls escaped and everyone was happy, she just looked so disappointed. I don't know what's up with my sister, but I still love her, though. Ah! Wow. More of the story. Keep your, um, oh, let me see. Keep your kids out of, out of dangerous um, situations. Yeah. Pompa, what do you think about this um, oh. little short story booth? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if you think for I don't know. You're watching this with me. I could wait all day. Oh, yeah? No, don't even dare make me wait all day. If not, I'm, I'm a, you'll be you'll be gone the next clown the Monday. You'll be going with your flip flops and good old shoes. And you're trying to harass me. I'm gonna harass you back. Next, next thing we're gonna do is is I got dumped on Christmas Eve. Oh, that's really gonna be sad. We're gonna let's watch it. So this was like my junior year of high school. I was uh just one day on my phone going through Facebook and I was going through this girl and I was going through all her friends to see if I like knew anybody that she was friends with and I liked this one guy and he messaged me back and he said, I don't know who you are, but I you're gorgeous and that was the first time I ever heard any like guy ever say that I was like pretty 
I was so used to like people at school making fun of me and you know saying that she's ugly fat ugly fat ugly fat Mm. and that was the first time I ever heard just the word beautiful come out of somebody else's mouth outside my mom and my grandma we start texting and you know just messaging each other just you know talking almost every single day and one day he asked me the question do you want to be my girlfriend and i sat there and i really had to think about it because we hadn't really like met in person or anything and i was just like i'm not really sure and i was like you know what it's time to just take a chance and i said yes and from then (laughs) on my entire life just changed i was just like on some type of cloud nine ish like i was on cloud 11 you couldn't get me down we went to different schools but we just would talk every day we would video chat we would like just text and it was amazing and this went on for like about a good three months and a half it wasn't until like when christmas started to roll around i was Really just Uh don't wanted to see him for real. And we kept trying just to make it work, make it work, make it work, and just see each other. And they just kept failing. Like, we kept either school kept getting in the way or weather kept getting in the way. Uh And it wasn't until, like, one day, and it was Christmas Eve. Uh And I got a text, and he said, we need to talk. And I knew this couldn't be good. And he basically just gave me a long text and was like, you know, it's over. I'm sorry, and just, I was Uh. hurt. He broke up with me on Christmas Eve, and I was devastated. I just, I, all the happiness that I felt was just gone, and there was nothing left but just a broken heart, and I cried for what felt like four Mm. hours, and just cried and cried and cried. I went to my mom and told her what happened, and she said, you can do one of two things. You can either, like, be right back, guys boy ruin your christmas or you can be grateful that tomorrow's christmas day you're gonna be with your family yeah nothing's more important than just um uh, having a boyfriend or girlfriend spend time with family and friends for a while instead of going on to other things that's really not important and friends and everything i just felt better and i just realized then that i just kind of need to learn how to love me and just accept me for who i am and sometimes like just be around people that i love and that don't care about me and that are never going to go anywhere so yeah that's the time i got broken up on christmas (laughs) (laughs) who gets broken up on christmas that's kind of weird day um more story is to have have a great time with your family while you still can because you never know if they may get murdered, suicide, or someone could kill them. I don't know. But be with them uh, how you can be with them. So talk to them. Have fun with them. You can have a little time with your relationship, but it's more important with your family. Yeah. And let's on to the next video. All right, next video is going to be Mean Girl Stoles my, Steals My Work, Instant Karma. Ooh, I'm just... But... What do you think is gonna happen first? When you see the um, mean girl st- steals my work and said karma? Uh... I don't know. Yeah, because you're a second grader. I would think that um, this this girl we were like, um, is a friend of hers. Because not every... Not at least one... Name one BFF that is helpful and can, and can guard you if you have a problem or a situation. Name it down below in the comments below. And um, let's see if I can um, uh, give a reaction to your comments. And we could have read your comments. Read your mean comments. Read your funny comments. Let's put as many as, as we can down below. We can do this. A long time ago, in year six, I was lonely. I had no friends. Mm. Lunch times, I was alone. Break times, I was alone. Wow. Even when we had to get into teams, I was alone. It wasn't fun. But one day, this tall blonde girl came up to me and asked if I would like to help create a road safety assembly for year one and two. Aww. I obviously said yes right away. So we got started on it. Be careful of which people are you going to be working with because, you know, if they could be like very, how could I say this, tricky people. Yeah. Three. I got a laptop and this girl said, yeah, why don't you type and create a presentation? Because you're really quick at typing. I said yes. We spent a good two weeks on it. Whoa. Or should I say, no, she's not doing I anything. spent two huh? weeks on it. 
Now on the day of the assembly, we got to come out of class to practice. And when I got there, I opened the laptop, I opened the script. Then she told me I had been replaced. She what? only wanted me for my ideas. I felt ashamed and mad at the same time. I tried making an argument, but whatever came out of my mouth was completely different to what I was thinking. I accepted the fact that I was betrayed. The next day went by, and this tall blonde girl came into class with a big smile on her face. No. The presentation was so good, she was asked to go on tour around town to present the same assembly. But she was also a little worried, because only I had access to the script, so she had nothing to work with. She asked if I could open it for her, but I said no. She had to go to another school that day. And she had nothing. Yeah, good for her. The yeah. time came to the assembly. She walked up on stage. She opened her big mouth and cried. She knew what she had done and betrayed me. She was made a laughing stock. Everybody found out what she had done. And my classmates suddenly started to talk to, talk to me and wanted to play with me. From that day onwards, I had friends. Good job. Yeah, good job. If you want to create your own story, you can go um, down into storybook.com or I'll leave it in the description, description down below. And uh, maybe a time I'll be creating merches around town. I'll be creating shirts and pants. Let's see if I can do that. Only if I have time. It's called having time. And we're going to react to the last video of, of this video today. This story animation is going to be called Bloody Mary. And Paul's favorite girlfriend. <laughs> it, um, it was a thing back in like, uh, how could I say this, three or four years ago, two years ago, maybe so, I don't know. It was like a creepy little um demon spirit that, I don't know, you do it in the dark, you do it with a candle, la di la di la la. So let's see what, what she's going to have to say about this. Everywhere, in the dark, dark forest, my wacky counselor made a wow. sit down in the clearing. She pulled out a book. Scary stories to tell young children. Bro, they're gonna get nightmares. There were three sisters. Two older twins who were having a birthday party, and one younger left oh. out sibling. Now, this sibling was very kind and sweet, and her sisters were mean and wouldn't let her join their birthday party. <laughs> she was very sad. Oh, they said, you can join us only if. We do Bloody Mary. You're the first to go, sis, they said. They told her what to do, then shoved her into the dark candlelit bathroom and closed the door. The little sister did as they said. She flushed the toilet, spun two times, and then looked into the mirror and said, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Suddenly, a bloody... <laughs> <laughs> the two sisters who were... So <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Got you. Say what is that? Got you so good. Standing outside the door, heard their sister screaming and pounding on the door, but they would not. They didn't believe the legend of Bloody Mary. It was just a game to them. When they finally opened the door, <gasps> they realized they were wrong. Their sister was dead. My counselor but. closed the book and said, like, you guys look totally freaked out. Just don't worry. Like, just make sure you don't have to go to the bathroom tonight. <laughs> That's just really mean. I was so afraid. When it was time for me to go to bed, I lay awake with the covers wrenched over my head. I could see the bathroom door open to crack. I had to go so badly, but I couldn't. Bloody Mary would kill me if I went in there! <laughs> I kept telling myself. It wasn't real. It wasn't real. But how was I to know if it was real or not? Then it is that. real. Till it's not real. Class. So now why am I there? Because this is scary stories. Stories. You know what stories? Oh, yeah. Not that You're thinking of fiction. You think everything is real. Non-fiction, historical fiction, or fantasy. You simply check under the copyright date in the beginning of the book. I had an idea. Yeah. Okay. I tiptoed over to where my counselor was sleeping. There was the book. I grabbed it and flipped it open to the copyright page. Stories. <gasps> fiction. Told you. It was you. completely fake. Bloody Mary. Told you. It's fiction. Wasn't real. 
I was so relieved. Always follow your dreams and never just like um think of what you're gonna do. Always have a plan. And also look for these videos. If you like these um, videos I'm making right now, please go like, um, like and subscribe to Storybook Animation, and also subscribe to David Pinheiro. I um, mean, like subscribe to this um animation here. How do you like it, Juan Pablo? What was your, uh, which one was your favorite? Uh, bloody mud. Like your mom. <laughs> bloody mud. I think. I think that one. Say it's bloody Mary. Oh yeah, that one. Bloody How are you gonna say it? How you say it? Muddy. <laughs> you can't even um um spell your things correctly. I even um, helped you on your homework. You still can't even read. I could. Okay, read this. I went to get tacos this morning. I went to get tacos this morning. This morning? No, it's this. This. So um yeah he he's learning um so it's gonna be complimentary Mary so. Hope you guys like this video. Please give the video a thumbs up and also um again subscribe to Storybook Animations for and also you can actually post your real stories right here. www.storybook.com. Okay. If you can't remember it, I'll put in the link in the description down below and stay shut guys and peace. Peace.